How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here. I'm in Northeast Ohio at Mosquito Creek Lake and we're at stop number four for the BKFT kayak fishing tournaments this season, which brings us here at this awesome lake. Never been here before. I did a little pre-fishing yesterday. Kind of found a little pattern, um, but we're gonna stick with that pattern for the majority of this day and see what we can come up with. I'm super excited, a lot of grass. Um, we're gonna deal with partially cloudy skies as you can see behind me it's going to be an overall nice day not a lot of wind so I, I can be able to sight fish around look at these grass edges and that's what's important that's and, and that's what I've learned in pre-fishing is finding these grass edges and working these grass edges as much as possible and kind of being stealthy about it like staying off of it and casting towards the grass edges and kind of coming along the side of them has been super productive for me in pre-fishing so we'll stick with that pattern come along with me let's see if we can't catch them largemouth today guys let's go all right I'm gonna do a little gear check of what I'm throwing the uh, Senko on today I got the Elite 7.3 multi-purpose Daiwa Tatula. It's a medium heavy fast action. Yes, I'm throwing the wacky rig on a bait caster. Um, I've been using it the past couple days, have a lot of confidence in it. I got it paired up with a zillion 10 and I brought it down to 12 pound fluorocarbon. And I think this combo actually works pretty good. Um, I'm able to pick up a lot of slack for when those fish are running towards me, which I've seemed to notice when I'm throwing this little bait is a lot of those fish will pick it up and actually swim right under my kayak. So it's great for picking up a lot of line in a hurry. But yeah, that's the gear I'll be throwing the Cinco on today. And I have all kinds of other stuff, but this is the pattern I kind of I, I kind of found when I was pre-fishing here the day before. So we'll keep with this. We'll probably go offshore, do some drop shot with the Nico Leach. I got the Chatterbait trailed with a six cent stroker crawl. Um, we also got the uh, movement wake bait by six cents as well because top water could be could come into play as well if i start seeing these bait fish getting smashed on top we'll switch to top water and see if we can't get hit on top as well What do we got here? Ain't it while messing up with you. Holy smokes. That's a big one. That's a nice bass. All right, first, second fish here. Mosquito, 18 inch. It's a tank. There we go. Come here, dude. This dude's digging. Nice. Drop shot leech. Check that out. Heck yeah. 15 three quarters. It's a nice bass. Hey, buddy. Well, might have our first keeper of the day. Maybe. 12 on the nose, cool. First fish of the day, a little 12 incher. Start us off. Hey, buddy. There we go. Heck yeah. Got our second one. Put him on the board, measure him up. All right, we've got a 14 and a half. Second fish, working on that limit. Let's go. 
Here you go, buddy. Using the little wacky rig that I've been tossing around lately. But that's two fish and we've only been in 17 minutes, so hopefully we can get a limit here at Mosquito. Oh shoot. All right, there we go. Third fish, third fish. Let's keep it going. All right, got a 13, 13 and a quarter. Third keeper. Here you go, buddy. Number four, let's put him on the board. Measure him up. All right, we got another little 13 and a quarter. Fourth fish, here we go, buddy. 6.43 a.m., we got four, it's looking pretty good. There we go. That might be your fifth one. Got our limit. Heck yeah. This wacky rig's pretty cool. It's working up here in this grass. Alrighty y'all, we got our keeper, our fifth keeper. We got our limit. And it's 7.17 a.m. Heck yeah. There you go, buddy. Heck yeah, we got five fish within an hour and 20 minutes of first cast, so that's always a good deal. But uh, we need to go find some upgrades. I'm gonna keep pitching these weed lines with the, the wacky rig. Sanko and then we'll probably go offshore do some drop shotting later on try to pick up a higher quality fish off some offshore structure But yeah, so far so good five fish got a limit That's always the first goal of mine in these tournaments especially going to places. I've never been before so feeling pretty good Let's keep it rolling Nah, get out of here cormorant Go 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 get 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 Trying to eat my bass There we go. It's a nice one. Heck yeah. Check that out. That's a long fish. Freaking choked it. Let's put him on board, measure him up. Alrighty, y'all. We got an 18 incher. Freaking long fish. That's awesome. That calls out our 12. There you go, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, shoot. Heck yeah. Oh my God. This dude has a hole in his bottom lip. What the heck? That is gnarly. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like one of my buddies from high school that got his gauge done and took out the earring. Well, that's a first. Big old hole in the bottom of his lip. That's crazy. Not affecting him though. He ate. It's a 16 incher. That'll help out a lot. Here you go, buddy. My apologies with that last clip. Something was on my lens. I don't know what it was, but made the image super blurry. I don't know what it was. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, I did not feel that bite <laughs> at all. Holy smokes, it might be an upgrade. We got a 13 and a quarter, or a 13 and, yeah, 13 and a quarter upgrade. 
So yeah, this looks like it'll be an upgrade for sure. We'll put him on the board, measure him up. Alrighty, y'all. 15 incher. That upgrades are 13 and a quarter. There you go, buddy. Alrighty, we're gonna go, I guess, offshore and see if we can't pick up a couple drop shot fish. Um, I'm sitting at 76 and a quarter inches, which I'm super stoked for. Um, I'm super stoked for that. 76 inches is a pretty solid day. And we still got five hours left. So hopefully we can go upgrade. We have, I believe, um, a 13 and a quarter we could upgrade. If we got another like 17, 18 incher, that'd be super awesome. If we could come out of here with 80, we might be able to scratch a top 10, which would be super phenomenal as well. leech nice 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 there we go the morning dawn on the drop shot he's actually pretty shallow this dude was in like two feet of water all right we picked up a 17 and a quarter up here in the shallows on this little rocky flat on the leech here you go buddy that was awesome there's got to be a bass mixed into there has to be you would think if he's gonna upgrade us gotta be better than 15 nah he's not he's not but at least we identify that there are bass out here on this structure so keep dipping around out here and see if we can't pick up our smallest is 15 inches right now it's my smallest so we're looking for a nice 16 and a half 17 inch or but dang dude no you've been 14 plus nice 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 here you go buddy So what I'm doing here is I'm in about 11 feet of water and I'm looking for structure. See that? You can kind of see some structure that could be vegetation or tree piles or something like that. But I've been going around throwing this drop shot and we just got that first bass there out here for about 20 minutes now. And we'll keep along with that pattern. See that structure pile right there? It's only a couple feet of a hump, but see all this fish right there on top? Those look are more than likely crappie, but there's gonna be some bass mixed in there. Well, spent a little time offshore, picked up one bass on the drop shot, and then I picked a really nice bass um, over here on the drop shot in just three feet of water. So I'm gonna head back to my location. We have two more hours until line's out. Maybe the stroke of luck, we can upgrade our 15 incher. That's the one we need to upgrade is a 15. So I think we're sitting at 80 and a quarter inches. So any upgrade at this point would just be super awesome i'm already stoked with 80 inches so got a smile on my face having a great time catching a bunch of fish here at mosquito which has provided a bunch for me already so we're gonna get over here spend two more hours in our original spot and call it a day Well, I just lost an upgrade for sure. That fish came up to the side of the yak. It looked like a 16 plus 17 incher, 16 to 17 incher. So that's a bummer. But we still have hour and 10 minutes. Sit around here at our first spot and see if we can't pick up an upgrade. Our smallest fish again is uh, 15 inches. Oh, 15 inches. And uh, let's see if we can get an upgrade on it. buddy come on come on it's a big one let's go 
Let's freaking go. We got 20 minutes left. Alrighty, we got a 16 three quarter. Upgraded our 15 with just 20 minutes left to go. Heck yeah. Here you go, buddy. Alrighty, everyone, time's up. I ended up with 83 inches. We'll see where that puts me for the day over at the length end. Look at me first. Are you doing video? Yeah, go ahead. No, no, Hi, no, Mom. No. Oh. Go ahead. All right, one, two, three. All right. There's the top three hammers. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a summary of my strategy at tackling mosquito. I did a lot of research online and obviously it's a grassy lake. So I focused a lot of my attention on grass edges um, where deep water and grass meet. And that's where I was throwing that Senko and just kind of, I would throw it at the grass and bring it into the deep water. And those fish were waiting right there in that deep water waiting for something to come out of the grass. And that was my pattern. And you know what's crazy is that about an hour and some change left, you've seen it in my video, I lost a really good fish. That was probably 16, three quarters, 17 inches in that range, pull and drag. So it was probably up in that range for sure. And I even saw it when it came up to the side of my kayak. I don't know what happened. Uh, the mechanics were right. I, that was the only fish I lost today. And it would have put me up in probably third or fourth place if I didn't lose that fish. But you know what, that happens. I put my head to the ground and we followed through, 20 minutes left, I stuck that 16 three quarter, which pushed me from, I think 12th or something like that up into the top 10. So I'll definitely take it. But that's just the overall summary of what I did, just looking for grass edges, went offshore and targeted some structure with a drop shot and caught a couple fish that way. But yeah, that's a little bit of the summary I did here at Mosquito. Final results, I ended up in ninth place out of 58 anglers here at Mosquito Creek. Had an absolute blast today, caught tons of fish. My pre-fishing actually benefited me. I, I've, I've pre-fished before at Allen Creek and it ended up being a total bust, but pre-fishing here actually helped out a lot. It solidified my pattern, which I basically kept the uh, Wacky Rig Senko in my hand pretty much all day other than the drop shot a few times and caught some drop shot fish on the Nico Leech. But yeah, I had a good time here. Um, ended up with 83 inches, good enough for ninth place. Solid points for the AOI race here for the BKFT. Overall standings, that's good for the overall standings, right? So got some awesome points for that. I wanna say congratulations to the top folks. Um, first, second, and third, they cashed some awesome checks. It was pretty good. I think first place, he had big fish and he got first place. So he walked away with like $1,500 plus or something like that, which is awesome. Yeah, we stayed here at the campground. I pre-fished yesterday for one day. I, I It was awesome. Their campground is amazing here at the south end of the lake I stayed. Um, awesome facilities and we even had like lake access so you can go out there and fish and stuff while you're camping. It was a pretty cool experience. I'm pretty stoked to come up here and fish a lake that I've never done, I've never fished before and actually get some experience on it and I placed pretty good. So in ninth place, I'll take it for the year. It was awesome. If you'd like to grab some water lanes, use code CRAWLER15 on the Waterland website. If you'd like to grab your rods, reels, lines, lures, use code CRAWLER15 on Vance Outdoors and save tons of money on your favorite on your favorite um, fishing gear. That's not clearance already. You can save a ton of money. I've had a bunch of people reach out to me saying they've saved 50 bucks here, 60 bucks here when they're putting a new rod and reel combo together and using my combo. And I appreciate everyone for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go.